You're on the, uh, the cab of the track this time. Something a bit more static for you. A bit easier watching. We're going to, to take these bales to Collins Yard. So we're going to do a little bit of on the road driving. I've got a ceiling in, a strap around the back of this trailer. Collins Yard's pretty tight to get into, so we have to use the smaller of the trailers. Me and Charlie are going to be running loads. She's just doing a bit of rolling, rolling down some ruts uh, in the corner of the field there. And then she's going to uh, grab a train. It's not wet silage isn't that bad because you ain't got a strap, you ain't got too many straps to deal with. Just stick one on the back, stop the rolling off. My tractor is as filthy as can be. It needs a good clean inside and out. When I get 10 minutes, I will uh, go through it. Thought we'd uh, use this opportunity to have a little bit of a chat, see what's going on. It's the 27th of May at the moment, and we've got one good week, and everybody's a little bit tempted to go cutting grass for hay. But it's still a little bit early. It takes a bit more making this time of the year. You know, even early June, you're looking at at least five good, good days of sunshine to uh, turn hay into good hay, you know. And yeah, we're just a bit worried. We're, uh, we're not, I don't know. It's, it's just a little bit early. So we're gonna wait for the next spell of good weather. It looks like we're gonna get maybe some rain in about a week's time, so. These crops are looking really well. Keithy's been round, he's gone crop side and cut all the headlands, and we're gonna scoop that up into silage. It's a bit fiddly job, but it's free grass that we would normally top. So we're just looking at things like, well, you know, we might as well stick that into silage, and um, yeah, and use it as silage. So that's what we're gonna do. We had the, um, there was a big meeting at the farm with Agco, Chandlers, and uh, they were all having a, a bit of a discussion about the, uh, the 8S that's at our farm and why it hasn't been fixed. So Keithy's 8S is going to be taken away, it's due for service as well, so they're going to do that at the same time. So there are also fixes for all the problems that we uh, we have, so it should come back as it should have been in the very first place. But uh, we always knew, you know, we, we weren't too much concerned about there being problems. We, 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 we always understood that there might be a few teething issues with a new product, there always is. But we were a bit concerned with um, the lack of communication on everybody's front to get the thing sorted out. We've had it a year and a half, and uh, yeah, we felt like we've been pretty patient enough. So it's gonna be sent away, they're gonna pick it up, they're gonna take it, they're gonna get it all sorted. They got fixes for the gearbox via software. So hopefully that sorts that out. They've got fixes for the brake pedal, which sorts the derating of the speed out. They've got fixes, mechanical fixes for the brakes should sort the brakes out uh, so yeah it's gonna have a little bit of work done to it they're also going to inspect the gearbox to make sure the gearbox doesn't need replacing because uh, where it's so clunky and jammy uh, some of them have been known to uh, damage themselves so they're going to check the oil and make sure there's no shimmering uh, parts in there and they're also going to uh, stand by the warranty if something should happen to the gearbox as well so Yes, it was a constructive, a constructive meeting. Farmer sat in there with the, all the guys. So at least some of it's being done properly now. Uh, we did have to go to Adco themselves to get it done, but uh, you know, as long as everyone's learning and everyone sees what what the deal is, it's that's the main thing. We're not trying to upset anybody's business. We're not trying to upset Massey Ferguson. We don't want to leave Massey Ferguson themselves as a company we don't want to leave their tractors we like their product but we do want things to be sorted in a timely manner. Uh, I think that's the uh, very least that we expect I've got to move over because I've got some people wanting to come by 
there shouldn't be too, uh, too many loads. Just let these people come by. Who have we got here? It looks like Jordan. It is Jordan. And a van. So, yes, the 8S will go away. They're going to give us a demo tractor to... Uh, I don't know what they're going to give us. They're going to give us a tractor so we can keep mowing. And uh, obviously, it's busy time for us now, so we need to be using that tractor. Uh, so they are going to give us a replacement. Um, hopefully with front links and PTO, so we can use our mowers. If not, the mowers will have to go on this tractor. But they're going to give us a replacement either way. Uh, so, yes, uh, which is well, it's what we expect really, um, we do need tractors this end of the year when we've got silage and uh, we will be starting to make hay in the coming weeks, so. but it's going to be sorted so that's good and when it comes back we'll, uh, we'll go out testing with it and uh, hopefully it'll be the dream tractor that we always thought it should be. We love that tractor. It has just gremlins and glitches with it and brake problems that really let it down. And the brake problem was the uh, the biggest one and we understood that a fix can't come immediately. Obviously they have to investigate, obviously they have to figure out what was going on with the brakes and then they have to try and get everybody's tractor in to try and fix them as well. So it doesn't happen overnight, we understand that. but. Communication, like I said before, is the key to it all. Oh look, here come the cyclists. Got a few of them round here. They're not too bad, usually. Usually. Some are bad. So when you get stuck behind them, that's the worst. But uh, you'd have probably noticed videos have slowed up a little bit. Uh, it's just the time of year when we get busy, uh, videos slow up, I can't do it all. We're getting home late, by the time I've uploaded footage from the day, it's time to go to bed and uh, start again, so. But we will uh, quieten down and we'll get time again, so you'll just see them on a later date. I hope you don't mind, I don't have a person that can edit for me, I have to do it all by myself. And that's just the way it is. If the channel ever gets big enough to warrant paying for an editor, I will put the money into paying an editor. But it doesn't earn that sort of money. Those guys earn a lot of money. Um, yeah, I don't have the money to uh, pay somebody to edit the videos, which is a shame. Because uh, I think that would be the key to it all. But there's some cows. Grass is growing fast. We've just noticed in the last couple of days it's slowed up a little bit. Whether it's running out of moisture now, I don't know. But uh, there is grass about at the moment. And by the time we get to hay making, there's going to be good crops this year. So grass won't be a problem. We've had good, a good spell of weather. Two weeks of good weather. And it looks like next week's going to be a nice spell as well. But we get these interludes of three weeks at a time for good weather. Right, we're coming up to Coles Yard, but we are, I've been told, that sometimes car parking around the entrance to the farm can be a bit of a pickle. So we're going to go around the back, and that will make sure we can get in, I believe. I hope so. get there. We will be uh, fertilizing the grass that we silaged on the last video. That, the uh, spin will be going on as soon as we've got Collins bales off we'll be fertilizing those three fields. Our farmer's been spraying like mad. He has been spraying every day. So, uh, but three days last week he was out four in the morning till God knows what time. I think he was out past 10 o'clock one night. Three days in a row that. It's pretty bad. So yeah, a lot of spraying this end of the year. We'll try and have a look at the crops when we're uh, close by them. I don't know if we're going to get to do our tr crop spreading, our crop checking video. I don't know if we're going to get to it. So 
this is the farm that the old man and Uncle Franklin grew up on. Uncle Franklin still lives here with Colin. And this was the start of all things. This is the start of Four Winds before the old man and Uncle Franklin um, split the farm down and Ag and Colin went their separate ways. Uh, but they've always worked together. Glad I come this way now. Yeah, I'm going in there. That's exactly where I'm going. Turn my lights off for the horse. <laughs> I think that's uh, one of the villagers. This is it, this is the place. This is where it all began many moons ago. Uncle Franklin, they used to milk cows here. Uncle Franklin and the old man used to work together. The old man uh, and Uncle Franklin made, you know, the, everything was uh, homemade, all the barns and the sheds, and a lot of it's been changed. But some of it, you know, I, I don't recognize any of it, because, but Hag will tell you when he comes down, and there's some of Carl's cattle out on the right hand side there. No idea where they want things. Jordan. Jordan's on Colin's tractor there, the class, with a loader on. He's going to go load some himself. We're just going to run back some nails for them. Colin wants her down there. No worries, sir. Oh, a bit more, a bit more. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go, we're at Collins Yard. So we're going to be doing this all day. That's the job. Got any cows still in, Carl? Uh, Got any still in yet? They're all out, are they? All out. Yeah, have a little peek. They're over there, aren't they? Some... Yeah, the little ones are out here, the bigger ones are down the, down the field. Down the field. Oh, nice one. How many do you need then, Carl, to last you for a year? What do you... 650. Oh, that does you, does it? Just about if I got. If but I a, a few six, more wouldn't hurt, would it? 750 would be better. Yeah. Enjoying the nice morning sunshine. They're usually pretty friendly. Hey up. Hey up.
Yeah, lovely, aren't they? There's a few over there, got something going on in that hedge. Found something interesting in there. This is just another way, basically, storing silage. Put your grass in the bag, the grass turns into silage over the course of the next few months. And when it comes to cows coming in and needing to be fed, it turns itself into nice yummy silage. Some people put it in a big um, pit and, you know, squash all the air out of it and use a big chopper and stuff like that. But this is just, uh, yeah, just another way of doing it, basically. Young Charlie got left with a big trailer, look. <laughs> no messing about. Well, we finished at Coles, got all that transferred over there. And now we're, uh, we're just picking up some headland bales. We don't usually do this, we don't do it every year anyway, we just thought, you know, all our headlands that we have, we waste a lot of it topping it. So not only are we paying in fuel to top it, we're wasting the grass. So we uh, we sent Keithy round with the uh, with the mowers, just mow first time round. And what we're going to do is take it back to the yard and wrap it. There's 30 bales this side of the farm. so. You know, it's going it's to be worth it in the end. There'll be 150 bales extra silage, and uh, and you've tidied the job up as well. We always go crop side. We don't top everything. We uh, we always um, about this time of year we always top the uh, crop side. We leave everything close to the bush where the insects are. We don't want to destroy everything, but uh, it keeps the farm looking tidy as well. So Charlie's on the loader. She's just uh, it's just fiddly because you've got to get the trailer obviously in a place where she can load you and she'll just run around the headlands, pick them up two at a time, bang them on the trailer, and then me and the old man, we'll just take them back, back to the yard and we'll, uh, we'll wrap them in the yard. We all just uh, remembered why we don't bale headlands. Have a look at these bales. They are the greenest, softest, the, uh, the softest bales you've ever seen in your life. They're a struggle to get onto the trailer because you're on the headlands all the time. They're a struggle to get on the wrapper and they're a struggle to wrap as well. The loader man's having trouble. It's uh, with, it, with a year with loads of grass about, it's not the uh, ideal time to do it. Fair enough, you know, if it's on a year where uh, grass is short, you know, uh, then, you, you know, it's, it's worth doing. But we thought we would just... Uh, have a little go we've had a little go we've learned some stuff we've remembered how bad it is and we're not going to do any more so <laughs> there's a couple of grease nipples on that do you know where they are inside in the in the rowers yeah yeah would you just grease some grease yeah. pto sharp for me yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i've done two more nails yeah i see that because uh, <coughs> we'll we'll go picking up won't we we'll have a yeah. go um yeah, we'll get that cleared up today, won't we? It'll be done and dusted, won't it? We've just got this axle to do, yeah. and I'm done. I'm literally five minutes. Yeah. Did you did you want to grease the rake before we go? Yeah. We might have to get... Can you see this? Oh, unless I spin that until... There it is. Is it just one in there? I thought there was two in there. Is it just one in these cases? No, it's two. You have to turn them around so they come in line. If you push these forward... I've got one, hang on, let me just get them. How much grease does she... make it easier to get them from these ones. Oh, what's that? These. Sorry, mate, I weren't listening. If you push that right forward, it makes the hole come around to this side more. Oh, I see. Just turn uh, them around. They're not in line, but they come around at different speeds. Yeah. One at the top and one at the bottom. Nice one. I thought they were in there. That's tricky to get that on there, isn't it? They are pain to get, you can't quite get your hand in to push those flexible ends onto the grease looking. No, I could see that. Oh God. Yeah, that's okay. That's everything hard work. There's one here, let's do the easy one. Not a lot. 
and they keep turning, I guess. Oh, I see. I'm weighing out. The middle bit doesn't turn so fast. Oh, yeah. That's going to annoy me. Oh, that's even. So everything's had a few days on it now so we're just going to give everything a quick grease all the UJs get greased I'm going to turn track off in a second uh, there's a load of bits in the arms each arm has a load of bits there's a bit on the front of the wheels here there's a bit at the back there's a bit on this end there's yeah loads going on so we just give everything a quick shot no don't need to go mental with these things Not that tractor off. How old are you now? 18. Oh. Yeah, it'll be like a prairie like that. You can't see the other end. You're legally an hour allowed to drink now, legally, mm -hmm. aren't you? I didn't anyway. No. We all didn't, did we? <laughs> Which one do you want? Your, it's your choice, it's your do birthday. You, you have to choose. Which one do you want? You choose. Choose. Not that one. Yeah, that's one. Me and Oakley are right here. What'd you get for your birthday then? Um, Did you get a car last year? Yeah. Is that your birthday? Oh, so you've got. You must have had a really good present this time then. Yeah, I know. I had a few. Well, two things. I got, um, for my sheep, I got a metal fencing stake that I could put my fencing reels on there. Nice. That's Every girl's dream. dream. <laughs> <laughs> We're over at Peter's farm. This is a little ridge and furrow field. Sometimes we keep cattle here, sometimes not. This has just been, as you can see, Charlie's just on the rower there but as you can see we just literally mowed this left it in the row for a couple of days and we're literally just going to row it up and uh, bale it and it's going to make nice silage actually that'll be a good thing charlie's on the rower farmer's on the uh baler she's adjusting her arms because ridge and furrow the rakes don't like ridge and furrow very much so you've got to adjust your arms accordingly just to make sure because it will catch the uh it'll catch the rotors and send the uh, rattle clutch off. So she'll adjust her arms accordingly. The old 90 look. This tractor's, uh, oh, I don't know, come in this year. It, it, it got hooked on the wrapper and I ain't gonna start changing tractors. If, if something's on the machine, that's the machine I use. Whether it be 100 horsepower or 200 horsepower. We don't go messing about, we literally, uh, you get a lot of comments saying, oh, 200 horsepower is too much for that machine. And they're right, you know, it's, it's, but we don't base our decisions on what power a machine's got. Anyway, young Charlie, might as well say it now. She, uh, she's handed her notice in, she's off. She's, uh, yeah, she's finished her apprenticeship and she's off to bigger and better things. She, uh, she never was gonna stay with us forever. She has got big plans for her future. So, um, let's get this hooked on. Yeah, so it was her birthday yesterday. She's 18. And uh, yeah, young Charlie's got big plans out of her. So we wish her all the best. I think she's with us for about another three to four weeks. And then she's, uh, she's moving on. And uh, yeah, wish her all the best. And yeah, not, not much else to say. She's, um, she's done really well here, so. Uh, right, we need a right gear. We're going to get started here. Anyway, we're going to get this bailed up. 
I don't, I've brought too many wraps as well, I've done, I didn't need that many. Uh, there'll be probably 70 or 80, got two little paddocks around the back and we've got a small paddock near home that we need to bail up as well. And then we're hoping to get these stacked up today and then move around to the, the, uh, the sheds around the farm and get those sorted out and squared up and uh, it'll be soon time for uh, haymaking. So yeah, bit of a bit of a shock that Charlie's going, but um, it is what it is. Can't stay forever. And yeah, there we go. I don't think farmers looking to uh, have anyone else or employ anyone else. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we'll leave it on that front. We, uh, when young Andrew left, I, I managed to do him a video, but I just know that things are busy now. I'm just not going to be able to get time in the computer to uh, do that again. So she's going to not. She's not going to be a stranger anyway. She's around and about, and uh, she's uh, not a million miles from us anyway. So yeah, there we go. All the best, Charlie. That's going to do it. That's going to be the end of the day. It's been a pretty grey day today. Managed to get um, another. What was it? Uh, another 60 silage over at Peter's farm. We stack them over there. They're out in the field at the minute. We stack them up tomorrow. It's uh, off with the machines now and onto the yard. So we're going to get these yards squared up, get all this muck out, get these barriers lifted up, and that'll be next job. It's sorting sheds out, sorting uh, grain stores out. All the uh, farmers had a good go around the machines. Just done the digger, so the digger's been done, fully serviced, oils filters everything so he's been busy uh on the machines he he comes in early morning and does another one and yeah so there's not many to do now i don't think i think they've all uh all had their bits and pieces that they need uh and the main ones are the engine oils we uh we, we stay on top of those uh, pretty uh religiously make sure you like and subscribe to the videos find a merch in the description and we'll catch you on the next one